Welcome to twoquestions.tv. My guest today is Susan Scott, and we're talking about fierce conversations. Welcome to twoquestions.tv. I'm Susan Barancini Mo. Joining me today is Susan Scott. Susan founded Fierce in 2001 after 13 years leading CEO think tanks and having more than 10,000 hours of conversations with senior executives. She's the author of this book, Fierce Conversations, Achieving Success at Work and in Life, One Conversation at a Time. Hi, Susan. Welcome to the show. Good morning. Hello. Oh my goodness. I just love your book so much. And I love this concept that you start out the book where you're talking about the concept of gradually and then suddenly. Mm -hmm. Could we start off our conversation by explaining how lives can change, how we can succeed or fail gradually and then suddenly? I love that question. Um, yeah, I was reading Hemingway's The Sun Also Rises in which a character is at a bar with a bunch of his friends and somebody asks him, how did you go bankrupt? Yeah. And he responds gradually and then suddenly. And I <laughs> laughed and then I had sort of an epiphany because I, I had had about 10,000 hours of conversations with yeah. CEOs and their direct reports over 13 years. And my epiphany was that our, our careers and our companies and our relationships, both mm -hmm. professional and personal, and indeed our very lives, succeed or falter or flat out fail gradually, then suddenly one conversation at a time. Yeah. And I don't think I had ever quite put it together in that way that Conversations are absolutely running our lives that every single conversation that we have is either moving us towards what we, what we really, really, really want or mm -hmm. flatlining us. So what's yeah. the point or moving us away? So, and I just don't think people realize that, that how important their conversations are. And so, yeah, I mean, if you, if you think of examples at work, you know, how did I lose that, that customer that counted for a huge percentage of our net profit, I lost that customer, one failed or one missing conversation at a time. You know, how did I lose a key uh, a, uh, employee for whom I had great plans? How did I lose a relationship, a marriage? Mm -hmm. One failed or one missing a conversation at a time. And I think it's yeah. the missing conversations that are the most costly, honestly. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and, I found that um, that concept of the the relationship is the conversation. Like yeah. it blew my mind, and I raced as soon as I read that. I raced downstairs and I said, "Leo," to my husband, "Leo, <laughs> it's gonna blow your mind." I went, <laughs> <laughs> "The relation, our relationship is our conversation," and he was like, <laughs> "It was fantastic. It's so interesting." We don't often think about it in those terms, but it's absolutely true. And yeah, if the conversations are meaningless, if the, the conversations start to be about useless, silly things that really don't matter, then how much do the relationships matter? Exactly. Mind-blowing. Mind-blowing. Exactly. And it's, it's very easy to fall into um, a rut conversationally where you know it's just how are you i'm fine how are you fine yes. okay now we have that done um you know what's going on with you oh not much yeah um, how are you doing i'm okay is anything wrong no nope, i'm good and it's all going nowhere yes. <laughs> gradually and suddenly and so a fierce conversation the simplest definition is it's one in which we come out from behind ourselves into our conversations and we make them real yeah so you know, if you ask me how I am, I'm, and I'm having a really tough time, it doesn't mean that I'm going to go into all the gory details about everything that's I'm struggling with, but I might say I'm having a, this is a, a rough day. You know, I've got an issue yeah. with, with my daughter, or I'm, I'm worried about my dog, or I'm struggling with a decision I need to make, um, and I'll get through it. But at least that's a little more than I'm fine. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. which isn't really always true yeah and it, and it gives the other person an opportunity should they be curious 
to say, well, what's happening? You know, tell me more. And then we could get into a conversation. Or, yeah. or I might say I'm having a spectacular day. I've gone three days in a row without eating any ice cream. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> <laughs> no, some would say no. Some would say what a sad existence that would be. <laughs> but I, I think that that concept of fierce, you, you know, you talk about being a fierce leader, having fierce conversations. And that is, that, that is one of my questions. What is it to be fierce and to have the fierce conversation? Is it to step away a little bit from these societal norms where the, we ask the perfunctory question of, how are you doing? And we answer perfunctorily, I'm fine, because we know the other person isn't asking to really know. They're asking right. out of obligation or societal norms. So is it, is it an effort to step away from these norms? It is. It's, a, um, it's, it's actually a way of... Um, thinking it's a way of being it's a way of life and it is really quite life-changing so i i think it's important to begin to catch ourselves in the act of of just saying the ritualistic things yeah. or asking the ritualistic questions avoiding the real topics skirting the real issues dancing around something um for the sake of being quote nice or being careful or not wanting to rock the boat at work or at home and what happens is these missing conversations that we're avoiding mm -hmm. um they're they're accumulating and yeah. if a problem exists it exists whether we talk about it or not so right. we might as well talk about it and what's wonderful is once people get into the habit of saying okay Here's what's really going on from where I sit. Yeah. You find out that it actually becomes a very rich conversation. It's hardly ever the scary, monstrous, awful thing with dire consequences yeah. that we think it's going to be. There is no bugaboo there. There is no big monster lurking. Well, actually, there is a monster lurking that will get us in the end if we don't have the conversation. Yeah. Suddenly. <laughs> Suddenly. And so what what I want for the people that I care about, all of the clients that we work with, yeah. I want us to stay awake during gradually. Because we all wake up when we arrive at a suddenly. It could be a negative yeah. one, like a, you know, a loss of a job or loss of a relationship. It could be a positive one, a, a new relationship, a promotion, a marriage proposal, something like that. But I think it's really important for us to stay awake during gradually so that we notice how we're, how am I trending? How am I trending? Mm -hmm. And what are the relationships that are really important for my success and my happiness? What are they like right now? How are they doing? And when we think about any particular relationship, it gives us a clue as to, you know, there's probably a conversation I really need to have. Yeah. Um, and it might even be, this is important for me to get across. It might even be telling someone what precisely it is about them that I love or that I admire, that I appreciate. That's fierce. That's being real. And there isn't enough of that. You know, I mean, it's, we're, we're, we're typically in the habit of saying, good job, well done. Yeah. You killed it or whatever. And that doesn't usually truly land yeah. with someone it's when we say i want to tell you what it is that i observed about you in the meeting earlier today that just blew my socks off yeah and then tell them and then you can say you know i I, just, I love that about you i hope you keep doing that it makes a huge difference that's fierce yeah so it isn't just telling somebody what you think of them and the horse they rode in on you know <laughs> well, I want to tell you that this book was amazing and knocked my socks off. And I hope you do more of that. <laughs> Susan, where can folks find you? Well, we have a website, of course, fierceinc.com. They can find me and everything that we do on the website. Wonderful. And um, if, if they're curious about the treehouse that I happen to be in right now, 
they can go to YouTube, type in Goat Leap Treehouse, and they can see where I live. About Goat it. Leap Treehouse. And as we uh, we discussed before, this is the treehouse that Fierce built, it which I love. Is. <laughs> and you're, you, you are going to come back and, and be one of our inspiring women in business, yes? I would love to, of course. Oh, good. And would you like to join me for the after show today? Yes, happy to. Wonderful. Well, thank you for joining me for this show. Now, viewers, if you'd like to join Susan and me, the two Susans on the after show, come with us. We're going over to twoquestions.tv. It's the only place you can see the after show. So come with us over there. In the meantime, here's the book. We're going to have links down below so you can get your copy from Amazon. This is a must read. Absolutely. You should read this book. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Music